Hello everyone and welcome to Total War Through the Ages. In this episode, we're going to be fighting a battle and I'm trying to remember what happened. Uh, I've, disclaimer here, I am I'm having to record this audio after quite a while after I actually edited this episode together. Um, I don't quite, so yeah, I, I do apologize, I don't quite remember, it just kind of happened that I don't have, it worked out that I don't have time to like watch the video again or anything, so I again, do apologize, I'm gonna just kind of have to be providing commentary as I'm watching it, the same as you guys, so it's kind of like live commentary, it's like, po it's like live post commentary, if that makes any sense. Right, so we're landing an army here, so I believe last episode I was concerned about not being able to m move the ships because there were a turn or two I forgot to move my fleet and I was worried about not being able to get this army to the city in time to build the siege equipment and capture it before the the t number of turns we had available from the senate mission ran out. Now as you will see here I'm actually going to be checking that because I'm not sure so I've got one more turn that I have to wait before I do it and it's two turns left so I should have enough time. I, I will be forced to launch an assault this next turn, however. Uh, but, as you can see, I didn't actually have to because I got attacked by another Carthaginian army, and so we're actually going to be fighting an open field battle. I don't even have to fight a siege, which is pretty good for me, uh, all things considered. The bad thing is, of course, I'm fighting about twice as many guys as I have. Very roughly. Um, I wouldn't say it's exactly that. Here we're skipping to the deployment, and just this is kind of just so you guys know my basic deployment. You guys can see my basic deployment. And I started, I start moving guys up. Now, I, I have to say, I, I want to give a shout out to um, uh, the Rupa Koopa. I believe that is his name on YouTube. I he's act he's actually a guy I know. I'm I know him by a different name. Um, you know, we're friends on Steam and all that. So, uh, actually, he's a member of DOF as well. So, anyway, long, long story short, uh, Rupert Cooper, I think, is what his YouTube, his name is on YouTube, and he's been commenting on the past episodes of this and been giving me a lot of tips and pointers about Rome Total War, which I really appreciate because I kind of, you'll start to see from this point on, as I'm playing, uh, playing through Rome Total War, you start to see me kind of try, at least try, to the, my the best of my ability to implement a lot of the suggestions and tips that he's been giving me uh, so I and one of the one of the big things is that I also knew that the, my only chance of winning was to basically f completely crush one side one army which in this case is the one that started or that actually attacked me and then crush them and then reform basically and gather my forces you know kind of regroup and then take on the the second army that was coming in to reinforce and I think overall I think I pulled this off pretty well. So we take down the general, that's a huge thing. Um, general, uh, killing the general gives us a huge advantage in terms of morale and it really will start to, it just kind of ca cascades. If you can kill the enemy general, particularly, I mean this applies in most games, but I, I find it very true in Rome Total War and there are some other ones that is also very important, but again we're talking just for now in the case of Rome Total War. Uh, I also kept it, as you can see here, I kept a decent number of units in reserve, so I'm kind of forming them around to deal with the enemy force that's coming behind me while the rest of these guys are going to be running down the last of this army. Now, kind of back to what I was saying, again, I just wanted to give a shout out to Rupa Koopa. Uh, really big thanks to you or and to him for the people who aren't him. That was weird. Uh, <laughs> big thank you because uh, it's really helped me improve in the battles, a lot of the tips that you gave me. Um, one of the big ones, like, uh, one of the big ones he said was a very important part of, in Rome, is to spread out a decent amount. That movement and getting flank, getting behind, around to the sides and behind your opponent is a big deal. And of course, that kind of applies in a general sense to all Total War games. Uh, because in, again, in general, it's a kind of a obvious, it's like a very obvious military tactic. It's a very common military tactic for a reason, and it does apply, you know, carry over to Total War, the Total War games. But, um, what, but again, in Rome Total War, it's even kind of more important than, you know, in, in some of the other ones. And some of the other ones, I, um, I, I'll come on this maybe some more later, uh, or in another video or something, but it, it, certain World Total War games kind of vary on, like, how important it is to kind of spread out and get flanks off. Some of them, it's actually 
in some cases kind of better to keep your forces more grouped together and not split up too much but again it kind of you know there is some variance here and there how however in Rome total war it's very valuable to to keep kind of fairly spread out now again you don't want to spread out too much but keep fairly spread out and get flank charges off and so that's what I am trying to do here and hopefully I will be able to you know start pulling this off more frequently um so yeah uh, we did lose we didn't lose that many guys in this battle we lost a different uh, we lost a decent amount uh, and I guess spoilers I, I do win this battle I think it's fairly obvious that I'm going to at this point uh, and I in kind of the way I've been talking about it, I'm sure people probably picked up that I was gonna win this so <clears throat> as I said um, yeah I, I kind of I'm running out of things to say at this point uh, yeah again just trying to yeah I am I'm starting to get a handle on how to fight the battles in Rome uh, though uh, I'm, I've still got a lot more to learn to like kind of get better at the battles again, again and it's partly learning to fight against the AI because each total wars a, the, the AI and at each total war kind of has its own quirks that once you know all the quirks you can really exploit them to just make the battles really easy and that's kind of the main uh, downfall of the AI and this is in a sense the problems with AI in a lot of strategy games is that uh, if you know what you're doing, if you know how to exploit them, it's actually not that. It takes a lot of the challenge out of it. But that, again, that said, um, actually, that, uh, I, that actually gave me an idea for a video that I'll uh, hopefully make, and maybe you guys will see this week. Anyway, regardless, this battle's about to wrap up. Uh, I actually kind of forgot how much of this I left in here. But, yeah, as you can see, I'm, yeah. I don't really have much to comment on this for the rest of this battle. So I think we'll go ahead and talk about kind of the campaign as a whole. So I think overall the campaign is going very well. I don't recall, but I believe at the this point in when I when this when this current episode is like by the end of this episode, I think I control about it's 10 to 15 provinces. I don't know if I've quite hit 15, but it's like, yeah, I, it's, it's a, it's 10 or it's a, it's 10, maybe a couple, a few, it's 10 to 15 provinces is how many we control. Uh, we successfully captured the settlement. However, problem with that is, of course, uh, it is currently being affected by plague. <laughs> so that's, that's not great. The main other aspect of the campaign is uh, is kind of I haven't committed fully to any one campaign, uh, and what I mean by like uh, let me rephrase that to any one course of action. Uh, I think at this point I'm probably pretty much set with um, and here we go. We have death stocks the land in the place we just captured. Um, I think I'm pretty much set on the course of action of I'm gonna finish off Carthage and conquer all of North Africa, and once I get all of North Africa conquered, I w or the western half of North Africa, basically from where the current province I have, all of those to end west. Anything west of the of the province of the Skippy I control currently that you can kind of see there on the mini-map, the big blue one, kind of in the middle. Um, and we're probably going to conquer, like I said, the rest of North Africa, and then actually to finish off Carthage entirely we'll actually have to take uh, take over their province that they have in Spain or the Iberian Peninsula so that will probably kind of be the la start launching off point to for us to con conquer all of the Iberian Peninsula and then once we do that we'll have the, all the western half of North Africa the Iberian Peninsula um, all of northern Italy and then we'll, pro we'll that's when we'll actually deal with the Gauls and basically conquer all the rest of Gaul and you know modern day France and from there we'll probably move on to the British Isles as well as Germany so that's kind of the status of the campaign as a whole uh, we are getting towards the end of this episode which you will all of course know if you're paying attention to the timestamp um, I'm trying to think I have the feeling that I forgot something but I don't remember what it was. And of course, if I did actually forget something and remembered it, you guys would know because I would be editing it out or in or whatever. I, I would I would do it in editing to take care of it. So if you don't see anything, that means I was just 
making stuff up and I don't actually have anything to add or at least I couldn't ever remember what it was. So we are coming, this episode is coming to an end as I said. Uh, we're going to be prepping to launch uh, an invasion to the rest of, basically we're gonna, we're focusing on Carthage. So we're going to launch an invasion to com to finish off wiping out Carthage. Uh, and we're going to be starting off by capturing this tiny little island they control. And we capture it. <laughs> it was very easy that it like, had like a general and then a single unit of cavalry, I, I, I think. So, there we have that. It's pretty pretty straightforward. And with that, we're going we're gonna to pretty much just be... Ra we're going to be wrapping up this episode, finally. I know I've said that quite a while. Like I said, this is... I do apologize. This episode probably wasn't the best because I have been recording the commentary so much later after editing this episode. But if you will forgive me for that and bear with me, I would greatly appreciate it because next episode I'm sure will be better. And till next time.